with plastic surgeons predicting a boom in business over the next couple of years, it looks like this trend is set to continue. Siobhan Courtney, BBC News. Well, Dr Michael Sinclair is with me now. He's a consultant psychologist who's written about men's health and body image. Thanks for coming in, uh, Doctor. Now, tell us, who are these men? What, what, what characteristics do they have in their minds to have this uh, urge to go under the knife to improve their appearance? Absolutely. I, I, I do think that it actually is affecting all of us men, if you like, in today's society. Well, speak for yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. I do think that um, we're under tremendous amounts of pressure these days to conform to, a, to an ide what we believe an idealised uh, body form is. I think that the, the media has a great part to play in this, and I think that what we're being told is that we can have a tremendous amount of, of success, of, of, of uh, status and power if we are simply by the way we look. So if we look a certain way, we can attain these, these qualities in ourselves. I think men have for a few decades now tried to redefine their, their masculinity with certain um, attributes, um, not being able to rely on the more traditional ways of, of, of the kind of protector or, or, or money maker to, to rely on those things anymore. So I think that the media has, has given us a new way that we can actually define our masculinity and our role as males in society. So I think it's affecting all of us. But are these men who are short, so pressured in their everyday life, they can't be bothered to spend half an hour in the gym every day? Well, I think there's something in that, Peter, absolutely. I think what we're looking at here is, is, is how men are sort of told that they can actually obtain this way of, of, of this appearance, if, they like, if you like, um, quite simply, just by five steps, five simple steps to have the perfect abs, the perfect biceps, etc. I think they are moving towards the gym, but I think what they're finding is it's actually a lot harder than they anticipated, firstly. There's always been those who will try to sell men the perfect body. Uh, you, you'd think that when I was a boy it was Charles Atlas in the, in the, in the, in the magazines, those little drawings of, of him holding the weights and saying, you can look like this. Are there just more people around now who are marketing it to men? I think so, yes. I think that um, we may be actually trying to feed on the insecurities and the underlying insecurities of men as they try and define themselves in society. I think that um, the cosmetic surgery industry is offering a quick fix solution to the problem at hand. If I can go under the knife for a couple of hours, I can come out and look this way and gain status in society. However, what we know about this sort of behavior is that we, we're not only uh, solving the solution of, of obtaining the, the body we want or, 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 or resolving the solution of not having the body we want, but also we're um, dealing with some quite under, uh, underlying uncomfortable feelings we have in relation to our self-worth. And so this sort of behaviour can become quite problematic, I think, for the sorts of people who have low self-esteem and low self-worth already. So if someone tells you he's had this or planning to have this, these, one of these procedures, you would, you would, your, your immediate reaction was, he's got problems. Not necessarily, no, and I do think these procedures can actually be quite beneficial for some people and boost self-esteem, self and, and, and the story ends there. But some people can get quite, with low self-worth, quite um, involved in this sort of behaviour and can continue to want to, to, to uh, engage in it. And I think that the more that a person doesn't have other resources within themselves to, to, to build self-esteem, such as friends, relationships, family, sports, hobbies, jobs, activities, they may tend to rely on this type of behaviour to boost their self-esteem, and that's a problematic journey to go down. Dr. Sinclair, thank you for talking to us. Michael Sinclair.